Welcome back everybody. I didn't do a video the last two days just because it's been pretty uh, yucky out. It rained most of the day on Sunday and what I did was I canned and made my own homemade ketchup. So I've got four quarts of that. It didn't get quite as thick I was hoping but it was the very first time I made it and my next um, doing which I hope to do a video on is how I'm going to be making our um, spaghetti sauce. I think I'm going to make spaghetti. No, it's barbecue. I'm going to make barbecue sauce next. And then I'm going to, what I have remainder of the bushel of um, tomatoes that I bought from the farmer's market in Marcellus on Friday and Saturdays. There's a little farmer who um, puts up like a little tent with the table two tables and then brings all kinds of their veggies and stuff that they grow on their farm and I've been messaging them and wanting um, a bushel of tomatoes so I bought a bushel of tomatoes I got um, half a half a bushel no a quarter bushel of Roman I think and then three quarters of a bushel of just regular the larger tomatoes um, my goal is to make ketchup, which I've done. I probably want to try to make another four quarts or so, just so I know that we have eight total. I'd like to have 12, but I might just have to get another bushel of tomatoes and just keep making it, I guess, until I get the amount that I'm hoping to have. And maybe I can um, thicken the ketchup up instead of being so thin, but... I thought it tasted really good. I mean, I thought it was better than the ketchup that we're buying from the store, which is Hunt's. Simply, it's what it's called. It's just got none of the, um, what is that called? The high fructose corn syrup. I got a loose hair I was trying to pull out. It was like a lot longer than what's here, about like out to there. So, yeah. Um, I just been listening to a lot of music and that's what I use my phone for and I use my phone for videoing so it's like do I video or do I listen to music and try to clear my mind so that's what I did so that being said I thought I better make a, a video at least telling what I was doing over the weekend and just try to keep you guys updated um, I've seen prints doing a lot of blabbering with the girls but I can't tell if anybody's been bred and I've been trying to go out just to try to check I've been checking on Lance a lot and it seems like I noticed Cal had a little bit of goop on the back of her but I didn't see him actually cover her so I didn't put her down as a date and I didn't actually see her in heat Odessa's in with Zeus, he chased her around like the first couple hours I put her in there. Roughly like two days later he was doing a little bit of chasing, but they stay way away from each other and don't even bother each other no more, so maybe if I could see for sure, you know, maybe she won't get bred, but I would like a doe kid from her and Zeus for sure. I would definitely keep it just to keep her lines going. She's... She had many, many, many generations of DHI, which is dairy herd improvement. Um, just getting those does to earn their milk stars. And she is a six star milker. And if I were to get a doe kid out of her, and Zeus has all his daughters are very heavy producers. And I actually had a daughter from Zeus and, and uh, Odessa. And she had a split teat which um i for me it didn't matter to me but you're not really you're supposed to call those goats that got a split teat but i bred her again or i didn't breed her she got bred last year and she had a buck kid a sun glue which is exactly what i'd want for a doe kid but i'd be happy with any color but um i was really hoping and then that one died for some reason um, Odessa does have a, a, uh, a bad quarter, so I don't know if the baby just wasn't getting quite enough to drink, but she should have been producing more than enough, um, 
more than enough that looks like that's like bubbled up almost um more than enough milk <laughs> that's where i was trying to get to and um just just uh trying to do what i think i should be doing i still have cal scarlet cal's daughter jules and then Mavis's daughter, who's out of Lancelot, for sale. Now, I kind of thought just about keeping Mavis's daughter and Lancelot's daughter just so I can see how she freshens, so then I would know what Lancelot produces. But Lancelot's in with the girls right now, so I definitely want a doe kid from, her, from Lancelot and Ariel because my plan is to build my herd off of Ariel. She is a huge doe. I don't even know what she weighs. I bet she's pushing like 180 probably. She's a big mass of dough. She's she's a little bit headstrong to try to like handle for me. I mean, cuz her head comes up almost to my shoulder when she's walking. Like she's she's a big doe. And Lancelot's our tallest goat that we have in height and she's not much shorter than he is, which is crazy. Because she's just a massive doe. And I'm keeping her doe kid out of um, Zeus. I was really hoping. And she gave me twins. So um, I'm keeping Willow. Willow's the one that's got the waddles down here. That Zeus threw instead of underneath his ears. Which was nice. Um, she reminds me a lot of Carrot. Those that have been following me since day one. You know who Carrot was. And uh, that's who she reminds me of. Zeus is actually uh, Carrot's. He has on his mother's side, which is Carrot's mother, as his grandmother. So um, there is relation to Carrot that way through her mother, which would be his grandmother. It was a... Uh, half sister to her which is his mom so I just I just love Willow she's my favorite for sure just cuz she reminds me so much of Carrot and uh, other than that there's not much else going on just still trying to keep track of what what little bit of my gardens doing and just um, I had an interview yesterday. I feel that that went pretty well. It's at um, a uh, car auction facility. It's only like 15 minutes from my house. It's pretty close. The pay rate is not that great, but it's a job. And the people there are wonderful. They made me feel right at home and just... It's, it's wonderful. And you have advancements within four to six months after working there if you're a good fit for these inside advancements that could be and they've got like 44 um auction houses like it's crazy they got some in toledo they got some in cleveland where else i can't remember there was a couple other states that are close by within just a couple hour driving you can get to them, but it says there's always advancements for relocation, and I said that I wasn't really looking to relocate, just somewhere to retire and say this is where I retired from. And he said that the um, company is very stable; they don't they don't plan on um, folding under because everybody needs vehicles, <laughs> which is true. Unless our world comes to crap and then, you know, they kill our electric and everything and then we don't have no vehicles anyways. We'll be all horse and buggy again, which wouldn't be bad, you know. It wouldn't be. So, <laughs> that's the update and I just hope you guys um, enjoyed this little chat. I'm not going to keep you guys any further. I'll try to get a video done today. I'm watching a movie right now. I'm just taking it easy. Just kind of letting go of my mind you know and just go from there so thank you everybody again and i hope to see you guys tomorrow till next time
God bless.